So I'm here working, reviewing V1 of uh, an egg video, and I ask Ed what he's up to. Do you want to explain what you're working on? Oh, I had these Reese's Pieces on my desk. I figured there wasn't time to jump into something because we have to go film babies. Yeah. So there's this Reese's Pieces, and I have this torch on my desk, mm. and I wanted to see what happened if you mix the two. They melt. That's crazy. Yeah, now we need to see what happens when you mix the two. Does it actually? Oh my god. Go, Reese's Pieces, go. They turn into a candle. A little bit. Oh, it's on fire. <sighs> oh, I can smell it from over here. This one, oh, I squished it. Okay, well, you keep working on that very important project. I'm to run and grab something from. I'm going to keep working on videos, I guess. Welcome to Shenanigans. What do you think would happen if I burned a Tootsie Roll? Oh, my God. <laughs> I have the loop. There's a really angry iguana in that bin. Yeah. Hence all the weights on top of it. He was surrendered today. Oh look, let's see. So a loop is like a magnifying glass. It's used a lot in tree identification, which is how I got this, it was from my dendrology class. And it's coming in handy as an adult for sexing false chameleons. We're looking for a pair of enlarged scales. And if we can see them, that's a male. If we don't, it's a female. Ooh. I don't see anything. I think this might be a female because I don't see those big scales. Oh. She is very upset with me, but I can Would you hold her still? Why. She's so little, I feel like I'm gonna break her. <laughs> Do you want to tr switch? Sure, let's okay, switch. Okay, here, you take the loop and the camera. I don't see the pair either. It'd be just south of the cloaca, and there yeah, are no I'm large I'm pretty scales. sure that's a girl. You're another girl! So, so you get to stay with Snake Discovery. You get to keep her! <laughs> Okay, now that you've uh, cleaned everything up, do you want to explain why you left the indigo door open? Yeah. It was fine. I wasn't paying attention, and you were paying attention to a baby, not the indigo. Here, have your eggs back. Keep incubating yeah, them. Keep for... taking good care of them, Daddy. One green tree eating, two green trees eating, three green trees eating, and four green trees eating. We found dry ice. Good. What are we doing with the dry ice? I was thinking about filling up the sink. Oh, to make it like a to potion? Make it like just super carbonated back here, I guess? Yeah, there's it's full of stuff. Yeah, there's dishes in there. Can't do that. Can we do a pitcher? Uh, we can put it in the water pitchers and then just leave and have staff be confused why it's like... Well, no, that would make it carbonated. We can't use carbonated. carbonated water. How about that bucket? What's that bucket used for? We just use this to kind of re-wet or dampen tropical soil. Okay. Uh, all right. No, No, it's sealed on top. Be quick. I hear the cart. Be quick. Be quick. No! <gasps> We're not doing anything. Yes! Oh, it looks amazing! And okay, now we have potions. Okay, we have to call Callie back here somehow and just like record her reaction. Are you gonna put more in there? Oh, God. oh no, it's spilling! <laughs> Why? Now we need to leave. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're gonna leave and just record Callie. Can you send her back here? I'll just like tuck around the corner. I like how Haley's not concerned <laughs> about that. She's more, they're more concerned than. Go get, go get Callie, go get Callie. <laughs> That's right, yeah, then it's Callie's problem. Right in the middle. We made a potion! Oh, that smoke. Oh. Hi. Hey, Sam. What's going on? Nothing. Oh, okay. Oh, so much smoke! Okay, we're done, we swear. Our fan Marley sent us this card that inside has a butterfly that when wound up, it like flutters around. I don't think I wound it up enough there for this clip, but I'm gonna wind it up because it scared the bejesus out of me. We're gonna put it over there for staff to open. Oh, Jesus. Yes! Finally! You have such subdued reactions! Okay. <laughs> that was. Okay, we're gonna try Kim on this. Oh my god, scared the shit out of me. About time you checked that card! I've been waiting for like half an hour. We got a new toy. We did. Are you gonna turn it off and then yeah, we'll yeah. reveal it? Okay, it's off. Okay. On our employee only door, at the end of the invertebrate cave, we now have a recording sign. So when we're filming, we can turn that on. Oh, it looks white on camera, but it's rainbow colors in person, oh, guys. Oh, yeah, like, change it to just like red. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, we can change the color. So now when staff goes in back, they'll know we're recording so they can quietly open the door instead of slamming the door. And then we have to redo the take. Yeah. Hooray, new toys. 
But we have officially beat our old record of 34 reptiles being surrendered on the same day. We now have a new record of 35 reptiles surrendered on the same day. We have 25 corn snakes that were surrendered today. They're all really well labeled with like ages and morphs and things like that. Look at that motley, that's really pretty. Uh, what's in here? It's actually some things. Oh, you're pretty, are you anery? I think that's an anerythristic corn snake, okay. We had a small iguana surrendered to us today. And see down here, another corn snake. And then we had a bunch of ball pythons surrendered of various morphs. Really pretty, I'll give them that. I don't even know what ball pythons are in those bags. And last but not least, we have one bearded dragon that was surrendered today. So yeah, new record. Hooray! Today's task is putting an old paper wasp nest that we found under the deck of our new house and putting it there in the rattlesnake exhibit. So this is what Justin Timbersnake's view looks like. That's not a bad view, you can see all the way down the zoo. Justin's in that bucket, by the way. He's not happy with this. Nice! Now we have hornet's nest. Kind of adds a bit, makes a little, a little bit more realistic of an environment and I don't think he'll mind it. Sharon, you can't eat the hose. I'm cleaning Rex's tank. That's not food. I need that. Don't you help her. Stop encouraging her to get into trouble, Rafiki. That isn't food. Nope. I know it's shiny and you want to eat it, but you can't. I'm sorry. Why is it dark in the zoo? Because it's almost 10. Ah, we're okay. Leaving. All right. <laughs> it's only a 13 hour work day. It's yeah, you know, it's all good. We broken into cash drawers. Yep. Okay, Oh, but... look how cute he is. You are so cute. Hey, buddy. So Ed and I work together to make something even more hands-on in the zoo. Yep. I made a sign that explains that axolotls containing the green fluorescent protein gene glow green when exposed to ultraviolet light. It's and a temporary sign. It's a temporary, yeah. The actual nice quality sign is still coming in er, on the way. Ed then installed this switch so you can change it from normal light to UV light. So, ready? UV light in three, two, one. Oh, nice. So cool. It's a lot brighter. Uh, in person than it is. It is camera. actually, yeah, it's hard and to see on the camera. In the way. There you go. If I like block the light, you yeah, can you see go. them a little bit more. There you go. It's, yeah, That's a lot cool. better in person. But yeah, there you go. Now, you guys, when you come in, you can turn the lights on. It takes a minute for the light, the normal lights, because uh, capacitors and everything. Yeah. But, but then you can turn it to UV. You can change it now. That's so yeah. cool. That turned out great, I think. You know, just working on the calendar. And this happens. Go, Cheyenne. Ride your Go. steed. Sharon. Sharon. Yeah, Sharon and Cheyenne. Those names are Sharon. too similar. Ride your steed to victory. <laughs> oh, there it is. Who's gonna win? Who's the boss? Oh, that's right. Sorry, Sharon. I'm the boss. Uh, what in the world are you doing in here? Having fun? It's so foggy, I can't yeah. see anything. I can't you, even see who that is behind the fog. You wanted a fog machine for night hike, so uh, you, you didn't get have... a fog machine I'm, for night hike. I'm trying to work on videos. <laughs> My gosh. Well, the fog machine works. Yes. People like... aren't going to be able to see the animals, though. That might work too well. Well, we'll have this. I got a little remote. Oh, okay. So if it needs more or less, there's two of these, so we can like have the person. You can't see out there very well. No, right you can't. Like, what's out there? I don't know. <laughs> Great. Now they're starting to make ghost noises. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Yep. So I figure we'll put one at one end and one at the other end, and oh, then it'll be two. foggy. Yeah, there's two of them. <laughs> I can't and, wait for the next and night this hike. This is the lighter fog. Is it really? There's a there's a fluid on the ground that's a little bit heavier. heavy. Oh my gosh. So then you wouldn't see your feet? That'd be awesome. So our office is still foggy. I came up with the best idea. Ready? Let's see it. Oh my god. <laughs> that is epic. <laughs> Let's see mine. There you go. Yes. Oh, so sweet. Oh my gosh. Oh, sweet. Ah. <laughs> okay, I approve of the fog machine yes. now. Aww. Are you just itching your face? Oh, you're so cute. Are we not doing a good enough job? You have to scratch yourself. She doesn't look very smart when she's scratching her own face. No, you're poking your eye. What is going on tonight in the zoo? Oh, there's keys left in the door. Oh, oh, there's a Kim in the enclosure. Well, hi. <laughs> Are you the new garter snake exhibit? I am, I hope I'll do. Can you eat raw fish and earthworms? I do like sushi. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so what's going on today? So I have a package from a Theris? 
No, maybe not. I don't know, from somebody. Okay. Somebody messaged you apparently on, yes. fa on Facebook or Messenger or YouTube and said, what is Ed like? Mm -hmm. And you said whiskey and other things, but you couldn't ship whiskey and they're like, just keep an eye out. And somebody had to sign for this box apparently. Yes, so a fan heard you liked whiskey and sent something somehow related to that uh, passion of yours. Right. Completely unopened, by the way. Okay, yep, yep. So we'll see what it is. Hopefully it's not inappropriate. I think he got this through his work, oh. if I remember correctly. It's a bottle of something. Oh. Good work, Ed. You are a fellow tech nerd over here. Or you got a fellow tech nerd over here, JB. From JB. From JB. Okay, what did JB send you? Got Blackland Texas Pecan Brown Sugar Bourbon. Oh my gosh, yeah. that sounds sweet. I think he said it was for Old Fashions, actually. Oh. Yeah, and you taught me how to make Old Fashioned, yeah, so which you is can your make me an favorite old -fashioned. drink. Yes. Are you gonna smell it? Yeah, you gotta smell it. <laughs> Oh, it's not as sweet smelling as I thought it was gonna smell. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow, it's, that, yeah, that smells like whiskey. whiskey. It's very bourbony, yeah. Whiskey bourbony. Wow. Cool. That is awesome. I can't believe he awesome. actually went and sent you this. Yeah, it's so cool. Thank you, JB. Yes, thank you so much, JB. It was fun chatting with you over Messenger okay. about this. Uh, thank you so oh, much for sending definitely this. Definitely have to give this a try. Absolutely. I spilled it on myself. That might be your favorite gift you have ever received from a fan. Ooh, it's very sweet. Oh, really? Got yeah. a little taste yeah. there? I spilled a little bit when I popped it open, and now the bottle's got a little bit of liquid oh, on it. Oh, nice. Well, we still have to work, so you can't drink that yet. Oh. Drink responsibly, everybody, <laughs> including Ed. Dude. Oh my Stop. gosh! You're so pudgy. What? There's a baby crested gecko right there. Oh wow! Yeah, just hanging how out did, in the. How did we miss? How did we miss that? Oh my gosh! Aww. He's so tiny. Come here, little dude. Aww. How here. old are you? Oh. And these guys always lay in pairs, so I wonder if there's. Oh my <laughs> gosh! You are so <laughs> stinking cute. Wow! You are so cute. Okay, is there another one in here? Because you... they lay pairs of eggs. I wonder. <laughs> Oh, you gonna be okay? No, because he won't stop jumping. Yeah, well, he's a crested gecko. Oh my gosh, the crested geckos are breeding in the zoo. That is so cool. Okay, we're back at home. I have made, Ed doesn't know I'm filming. I have made an old fashioned using the bourbon that Josh sent. And yes, an old fashioned is an adult drink, kids. Don't drink this unless you are of age. Adult. Yep. Try this old fashioned with what Josh sent. It's also very dark in here, I just realized. There we go, that's better, okay. Cool it down really quick. Oh, you just spilled on the floor. No, I didn't. Oh, that's really sweet. Is it? Mm hmm Wow, that's sweet. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's not bad. It's pretty good. I think you'd even like this. Really? Yeah. Wow, is that sweet of a Let bourbon? Me you here I mean, I guess it's brown sugar. Texas pecan brown sugar bourbon. Oh, maybe this will be an old fashioned, yeah, that I can drink. Oh, it still smells like whiskey. Yeah, but there's no bite to it. Oh, that is actually really good. Oh, yeah. I could drink a, an old-fashioned like that. That's this. like super sweet old-fashioned. Wow. All right, Josh, you may have found a bourbon that even I like, and I don't like whiskey. Well, Ed and I just got back from the airport from our New York trip, and I, what in the world is that? Cheyenne, did you do this? What is this? Oh my gosh, it's a giant inflatable Halloween Bucky. Which one of you did this? What am I gonna do with this? This is ridiculous. But I love it! This might be our new front lawn decoration for Halloween. Thank you, mystery person who sent this, brought this, dropped it off. I have no idea. It was just there. All right, thanks for watching today's episode of Snake Discovery Shenanigans. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support. And thank you, mystery person who brought a giant Bucky's inflatable decoration and put it behind my desk. We'll see you next time.